We're going to check to see if our O2 sensor is sending a proper signal to our ECU. The ECU is located in the driver footwell on the left hand side. It's behind this plastic panel right here and there's only one screw holding it in place. It's a Phillips head screw right here and you just pull that screw out and then you can kind of work this piece off. You can take this off if it's getting in your way but I'm able to get this off without removing the kick plate. So you're just going to pull this out and we'll see the ECU. Now that that panel is removed you can see the ECU right here and the only thing we're going to be looking at is there's a little indicator light that comes out of the bottom of the ECU and it's going to blink when the O2 sensor is sending a signal. Step one is to just start the car and just let it sit until the temperature, the water temperature gauge goes to about halfway. While this is warming up, I want to point out that that plastic panel that's covering the ECU does have a little hole on the bottom that you're supposed to be able to see the light through. I just find that it's easier to remove this panel, it's, otherwise it's kind of hard to get your mirror at like a perfect angle to, to view that light. Alright, we're sufficiently warmed up. It took about 10 minutes, by the way. The next step is to rev the engine uh, under no load, so just keep it in neutral at around 2,000 RPMs for about 2 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, here I've got the mirror propped up on my foot here and I can see the lamp and it's just solid green. It's supposed to turn on and off at least five times every 10 seconds uh, if the O2 sensor is sending a proper signal. So we've got solid green. Because we didn't get the blinking green light, on the bottom of the ECU, then we're going to do another test on the O2 sensor. This one's going to require a multimeter. So here's the O2 sensor. You can kind of slide back this piece of rubber right here and you can see where they're connected. And then we're just going to disconnect the O2 sensor right here and we're going to hook up some electrodes here. I'll show you uh, how to hook that up next. Make sure the engine is off and shut down before you mess around with what uh, we just did here in terms of disconnecting these by the way. You'll connect one end of the multimeter to the end of the O2 sensor that you've disconnected from the rest of the wiring and then you'll put the other end of the multimeter just clamped to ground and then you'll set your multimeter to uh, voltage, uh, DC voltage, and we're going to then have to do the whole procedure where we warm up the car and rev it up just like before, and we're just going to watch these readings, and it, it should fluctuate, uh, and we'll see what we get. It's, I'm guessing this O2 sensor is bad. It's the original one that's been in here since 1981, and with 85,000 miles on it, it never changed, so we're just testing the thing that's most likely bad. I'm sitting inside the car, I've got the multimeter set up where I can read it from in here and it's supposed to be fluctuating from between maybe like below 300 millivolts and then periodically going above 800 as the sensor flips back and forth to mix the, to regulate the fuel mixture and the air mixture and it's just kind of sitting at this low around, you know, 50, 60 millivolts the whole time so it's the O2 sensor is definitely defective, we're going to replace it now.